Hey, good morning, everybody. Billy with Tennessee Lumber and Supply here. Um, I just wanted to come out here and maybe do a different kind of video than what you're usually used to seeing me do. Um, we do a lot of the product description videos where we go through the packs of lumber and kind of show you what you're getting um, when you buy products from us. But today, I just wanted to make a video, um, and we're going to talk about a couple of uh, terms that are used in the lumber industry and terms that you need to know when you're purchasing lumber. Um, we're going to talk about linear footage, uh, we're going to talk about square footage, and we're even going to touch on board footage a little bit. We're going to start off with board footage. Um, this term is used incorrectly a lot um, in the industry. Unless you are purchasing full truckloads of lumber and you do this uh, day in and day out, um, the term board footage is irrelevant to just about anything that a day-to-day -day homeowner would do. Uh, essentially what board footage is, is it is the volume of wood. If we go back to high school geometry, uh, we remember volume is length times width times height. Um, essentially, that is what board footage is. It is the volume of the lumber that you're buying. So, for a retail or most even uh, construction environments or contractors, uh, the term board footage is irrelevant. So, we try not to use that. Uh, the most popular terms are going to be linear footage and square footage. So, let's talk about square footage first. Basically, uh, the way you figure square footage, we're going to talk about a wall in your house. Uh, if the wall is 8 foot tall and 10 foot long, you just multiply those two numbers together, and that would be 80 square feet. So that is the square footage of that wall. Uh, linear footage is basically just one foot on one board of lumber, and I'm going to show you an example here in just a moment of that. Um, some people also use the term running foot. That is an acceptable term to be used in place of linear footage. But uh, let me show you what a linear foot is really quick here. All right, guys. So a linear foot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tape measure. And we're going to sit it right there. So essentially what a linear foot is is it is one foot of lumber. That is a linear foot. It doesn't matter if it is a one by eight product like that right there is, or if it is a one by six like that right there is. 12 inches of any product is a linear foot. Okay, so now we know how to calculate square footage and we know what a linear foot is, I'm gonna show you how to convert your square footage into linear footage. Okay, when you are calculating your square footage into linear footage, first you will have to figure up your square footage and then you will need to know what the exposure of the product is that you're gonna be putting on the walls. Right now we are looking at this one by six, uh, number two grade resawn shiplap. And if we come over here and we put our tape measure on it, um, we are gonna measure this and we will see that on the tape, it is just under five inches. Well, we have to remember that this product gives you a nickel gap reveal. So when you figure in the nickel gap reveal, it's gonna be right at a five inch coverage. So what we will do is we're gonna sit this down and I'm gonna get the calculator out. So let's say that our, our wall that we were working on was 80 square feet. So we are gonna go 80, and then what we're gonna do is we are gonna multiply that by 12 to put that in inches. So then we're gonna hit equal, so that is 960 inches. Then we are going to divide that by the exposed face of the board that we are using, which in this case was five inches. So we need 192 linear feet 
to cover the 80 square foot wall that we were just talking about for a product that has a five inch face. Now, if we look at an eight inch product, which is gonna give you right around anywhere from a six and a half inch coverage to a seven inch face. If we did that, we would do 80 times 12 again, which is gonna give us 960. And if you see this piece of shiplap right here, um, that gives you right at a six and a half inch coverage when that is installed. So what we will do is we will divide that by 6.5 and 147.69. So we'll just round that up to the nearest even foot, which is gonna be 148 linear feet. All right, folks, so that pretty much covers uh, how you figure up square footage and convert it into linear footage. Uh, let us know if we can help you with anything else. Uh, my name is Billy. I am with Tennessee Lumber and Supply here in Lebanon, Tennessee. We have another location in Morristown, Tennessee. And the Lumber and Supply family spreads over the whole southeast pretty much. Uh, to find the store nearest you, visit NC, that is nc as in north carolina nc lumber supply.com and there is a store locator on there where you can find the nearest location we have 13 locations total uh, inventory does vary based on location so be sure and call them first to uh, verify they do have what you were looking for um, i hope this video helps and i do apologize for the not so good camera work, I guess you could say. Uh, as this progresses, um, I will invest in some better camera equipment. But anyways, Billy, Tennessee Lumber and Supply, part of the Lumber and Supply family with locations all across the Southeast. Thank you, and we hope you have a blessed and wonderful day.